Today we're going to take you on a tour of this 1910 renovation. We found some knob and tube fire hazards, we had some structural issues, some non-plumb walls. We're going to go into how we can balance new framing techniques into old school foundations. And we're going to rebuild a porch. Let's take a look. When you're restoring an old house, you're going to crown across... Just <laughs> grab some water or something. <laughs> Let's talk about electrical on this build. This house has knob and tooth wiring. It's going to be a red flag when it comes to up-to-date codes and making your house a safe area to live in. This is going to have knob and tooth and aluminum wire. That's not going to be up to code these days. For this build, we blew out the walls to give easy, easy access for an electrician to put new wiring in. Um, if you're in an instance where you have plaster walls or you're thinking about fishing some wire through, a good electrician can do it. It's going to take a lot of extra time. Make sure that you do the cost and benefits of keeping the walls together or blowing the walls out. Old school way that houses were built was they would put, they would just notch, right? So we have a little notch, just my finger right here is going in about three quarters of an inch. And they just put a one by nailer in there and it was holding up all the joists. I know it sounds crazy that they would notch that kind of top plate on, but it actually held the structure for more than a hundred years. But for local codes, we're putting the match of the new school with the old school. We're putting two top plates to secure the house that way. These old houses are super interesting. And the sheathing of this house, the exterior was actually structural, right? It was holding together the house. A typical new house, right? Like we put new sheathing on the outside, gives you a nice fresh look. We decided to do that for this build. But this was the sheathing that we took off. It was the siding and the sheathing, right? So, in my opinion, I think it's just an easier way to just put new sheathing in. Gives you a nice clean look. You can set your windows, nailing fins, all lay out great. But uh, definitely interesting. Let's take a look at something else. <laughs> I just want to point this out real quick. Is this header is made out of the old wood of the house. So a couple of things that was worked out really well for us on this build is we've actually had the framers be the demo team as well. On these old homes, there's gonna be a lot of great wood that you can reuse, reutilize in the house. So we've reutilized a lot of this wood. This stuff is gonna be better quality. It's gonna have less knots in it than modern day wood, Southern Yellow Pines or Douglas Fir, whatever you're using for your build. But when you separate it and you have a demo team come in, they could rip out everything, right? And just throw it in the dumpster. We've separated the good wood and the, and the bad wood, right? So we are able to reutilize this wood and this header. Um, and then also back to the wall. This wall threw us for a loop. This was almost three and a half inches out of plumb. Had to bring in this wall, strain it up. And how we're gonna resupport this wall is with some knee walls up in the attic, some collar ties, and some help of the demising wall between the two units. Right, these rafters up here, you're gonna see that gap. We're gonna cover that up with a soffit. It's gonna make for a nice, awesome finish, and it's gonna be a nice structural sound house after we're done. You're gonna have settling in an old house. How we fixed that problem and how we addressed it was starting with the new firewall that we're gonna put in between the two units. This is gonna be number one in these old builds, is really starting from the middle of the house and working outwards. We built our stairs, we considered our firewall, putting some drywall in there. We actually made a space for 5 8 drywall in here as well. So just a slip behind on those stair stringers and as well on all the interior walls below me, um, we made room for drywall to go behind to make sure this is one solid piece. This is key to this renovation. This house had knob and tooth, electrical. This is gonna be, um, I just, it. damn it, what is this, thing? what did I say that was? Um, we're gonna talk about some of the ways they used to frame. They made them when they were better, right? They made them, made them when they were better? They, made, they used to make them. Sturdier? They didn't make them like they used to. Yeah, I wanna say that. <laughs> 